Imagine the following scenario. You work in a store in which it was decided to implement a new customer service process to solve the problems and customer complaints. This requires implementing a new process, but how do you start designing it? Without a doubt, the flowchart is the most suitable tool to represent the steps of a process, but before we go into the details, it is worth being clear about how our new process will fit into the rest of the organization. This is where the SIPOC diagram comes in. Its name comes from suppliers, inputs, processes, outputs and customers. To illustrate its creation, let's think about a new customer service process. The first thing is to identify the process we will represent, that is, the name of the process. Then, we'll describe the four or five key steps of the process. It is worth using a sample flowchart that we can place apart for space reasons. Once this is done, we will mention the outputs of the process, whether documents, products or generated information. We will refer later to the users, either the end customer or the people within the company who will receive the outcome of the process. Then we will define the inputs necessary for the operation of the process. And finally, we must specify which suppliers, internal or external, will provide such supplies to us. Very well, with this diagram, it will be much easier to design the customer service process, because we will have plotted, at the general level, the key activities of the process. In addition, we will know the supplies that the process requires, and we will be able to specify how we will obtain them. Also, by having clarity about the outputs and the users who will receive them, we will be able to define more effective activities. As illustrated, the SIPOC diagram will help you to correctly define the scope of the process you are designing, and it will be easier for you to show its benefits to the rest of the organization. On the other hand, consider that if your company runs very complex processes, it will be very practical to include SIPOC diagrams in procedures, so the staff can easily understand the requirements and the results of the processes. Have you ever used the SIPOC diagram? I would love to hear about your experience in the comment section. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel to be aware of new content. Thank you for watching.